Hi everyone! Today I want to show you how to make spinach pie. Delicious and easy. What you need? One third cup of olive oil, three onions, sliced or chopped, saute it with the oil, with the olive oil, add six cloves of garlic, minced, saute it with the onion and one tablespoon of olive oil, add one tablespoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of coriander and one teaspoon of salt. Mix it very well. Add two tablespoons of samak. Add eight cups of spinach. You can cut it, chop it, or put it whole, like me. I didn't, I didn't cut it, it's just I put it whole. Just mix it, let it cook. Add one lemon, squeeze the juice. And two tablespoons of olive oil. This dish, it needs oil, olive oil. It's delicious, you won't regret. Add half a cup of feta cheese. Mix it, let it, you know, uh, melt a little bit. Put it on the side and let's go prepare the dough. You need four cups of flour. one teaspoon salt, three tablespoon of olive oil, and one tablespoon of yeast. Just mix all together. See how I'm doing it? And get four cups warm water Put little by little, pour little by little, don't put it all because depend on the flour, how much it takes, sometimes it doesn't take four. Sometimes takes more, sometimes takes less, so it depends on the consistency of the dough. The dough has to be not too much sticky, you know, the way I have it right now. Leave it for five minutes, cover it and leave it for five minutes. Now what you do? You just use the counter. You have to clean your counter and just knead it. We're gonna knead it here so for one minute to two minutes. See, that's how. It's very soft though. It doesn't stick and it's soft. See, make it as a log the way I'm doing it and cut it into pieces. Spread your the flour on the counter and just work with it, make it as a, bo a ball, you know. See, when you apply the, the flour, it comes very easy for you. Just, you can make it smaller than what I am doing can cut it in half you want small things you can do it small so just fold it like this see make it all the same size cover it with the plastic wrap and then with the clean cloth and leave it for 10 minutes or 15 minutes Spread the, the flour on the, on the tray or olive oil. Doesn't matter what you do, it's okay. Now you start fill, fill, filling up each one. See, apply the flour on the counter so it comes easy. 
you just open it not too thick and not too too skinny you know too thin just right you don't want it too thick the dough comes all doughy you know so add two tablespoon of uh, onion whatever we made the filling and just fold it fold it the way i'm doing it right now fold it on the side and then flip the other one on the top and just pinch it so it, the filling doesn't fall make sure don't touch it with the with the flour on the side it won't close and spread some flour on the counter so it comes easy for you see mine it didn't close because somehow I let the flour touch the sides so but I managed to close it see just work with it and make it as a triangle it's okay if you ca you don't make a triangle that's fine too in the end it's gonna be eaten so see how very nice and place it on the tray and repeat the same process the same thing See how I'm doing it? I'm folding it, see? It's very easy. Just make sure to put the, the flour. See how I didn't put enough flour in the bottom, on the bottom? And pinch it and just flip it and press on it. Not too hard, just make sure all that filling you spread, spread it all over inside. and let it rise for 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 350 for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, depend on your oven. Now look at mine, delicious. Eat it with, by itself or with the soup or something like that, you won't regret. And let me know. And look at the inside, it's not thick at all. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with family and friends. Thank you.